Hey guys, I am in downtown Frederick. It's a beautiful fall day and I have Trigger with me. This is an insane accomplishment for him considering the way he came in. They couldn't even make it out of their driveway. They couldn't even make it out their front door because he was dragging people all over the place. He dragged his female owner down a couple times. He pulled as hard as he could till he choked. Right now, we're in downtown Frederick. I don't even feel like I have a dog with me. I have to sometimes look down to make sure he's still there because yes, I'm holding a leash, but with the way that we train dogs, it's not reliant on the leash, so we're not constantly holding them back with leash pressure. All of our training is reliable on and off leash. So even if I didn't have a leash on or if I had it dragging, he would still be in here. Even with all the cars, buses, everything going by, we're walking by people, I still have 100% focus and 100% position and mind. And I'll tell you why. We have been so consistent in holding him accountable for his mind, staying calm, and his position that he knows that if he doesn't give 100% to that, that I'm right here to hold him accountable. A dog who is an absolute joy to walk because you've put in the hard work, we've taught the foundation, we've given him the knowledge on what to do when someone says heal and takes you on a walk, and we've given him the knowledge on what to do if you're not in heal and you get a no and a correction. So the result is a dog that you can take anywhere because they're not constantly testing you. Taking them to fun places like downtown Frederick and you're not that person with the dog who's lunging and parking and exploding. You're the person with the dog everyone says, wow, you're so lucky. And in your mind you're like, yeah, this isn't luck. This is training and lots of dedication and hard work. Good boy. Heel. Lots of new things for him. If you consider this dog barely made it out of his neighborhood before coming here, definitely never been to downtown Frederick. So we've got workers out and about, we've got carts rolling by, and we've got big trucks rolling by. So there's a lot of things for him to be overstimulated with. But with me being so consistent on enforcing this heel command, he really doesn't have the time or the, the room in his brain to worry about too much other stuff because he's so focused on staying and following my left leg, which is great. This is why this command is so useful for nervous dogs because we give them a job to do instead of taking them out and having them worry about everything else. Guys, we're on the creek in downtown Frederick. I've got Trigger and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about when, why, how we use the remote on a structured walk. So once the dog has the knowledge of the heel command and they understand the rules and they understand they're being held accountable, now we can start using it to get their attention back on us. So let's say they start focusing on something out in the environment a little too much, a little too intensely. It's more than just, hey, I'm looking around. Maybe they see a dog, a bike, a baby stroller and the forehead starts to get wrinkly, the ears go up, we all know thoughts becomes actions. So the next action is likely going to be lunging, barking. We call that loading. So with the first sign of loading, we can tap the remote, get their attention back on us, heal. Okay, so that's one way. And we like to tell clients to get that at the first sign. So the first sign you see your dog's forehead wrinkle, their ears go up, tap the remote, tap your left leg, heal, okay? We can also use it for full on lunging, barking. Let's say they got a wild hair, you lost control. It happened, a dog came around a corner and you didn't see it in time. We tell clients, we hit the red button in that case. We have the red button set and it's a quick boost. And that gets control back to you pretty quickly without you having to fiddle with the dial, okay? For minor position errors, let's say he's drifting too far back, too far to the left, too far ahead. In that case, we're gonna tell you to use the tone button. Beep, beep. I like to compare this to driving a Subaru because my Subaru beeps at me when I sort of start to leave the lane. And that's pretty much what we're training our dogs to do. When you leave that heel position, beep, beep, beep. If you ignore that, you obviously have to go to stem where your car might hit the rumble strip. Hope that makes sense. Trigger. Heel. 
it is such a great feeling to have a dog who you know was trained fairly and thoroughly, has all the knowledge on everything you're asking him to do, has a great foundation. You're able to take him out. They're following you. They're listening to you in a really distracting place, a place they've never been to before. Tons of new smells. Dogs walk up and down here all the time, but they're still prioritizing you. And that is what I love about our training and the remote collar and the fact that it transfers to everyone. It's a language that the dog understands and it gives owners basically a key to freedom. This is a dog who couldn't even leave his front door. Couldn't be walked. Now he's in downtown Frederick. Can't see, but there's a dog up there. Down. Good boy. Nice day to be outside, isn't it? Yeah, Such a cool dog. <laughs> Good boy proud of you. How about a little move I do? If we're walking our dogs and they might be in position, but it just feels like something's off. Like they might be daydreaming a little bit. It doesn't feel very reliable. So I'll start to walk really fast and then I'll abruptly slow down, right? If your dog isn't with you, if your dog's not following your left leg, they're going to shoot ahead when you slow down because they're not going to be ready for it. So if I do this and my dog's with me, they're gonna act like trigger is right here, okay? It's a really good thing to do to kind of test your dog in the middle of the walk to see, are you really with me? Or are you like 80% there and 20% on everything else, okay? Good. Sit. That's a good boy. Heel. Trigger. Heel. Locked in. That's how I like to start my walk.